Lord, I done got it in my eye. And it's burning. It is. <laughs> it is burning. But that's my fault. I don't know why the fuck I'm all up in my eyes. But I do need my cheeks. Like. It's greasy. Very greasy. Like I think I'm going to have to. And I'm getting my hair caught up in it. But it's very greasy if you see, like, I go, like I said, that's a good thing. Because then you don't have to worry about your skin being... injured or pulled which cause wrinkles you do know when you're doing a ma massage on the face yes i stopped for a second and it's ah sorry y'all with these nails when doing a massage on your face you always are supposed to work up you're never supposed to pull down because it keeps the skin right you know what i mean they say pulling down on your skin makes it drag and can cause wrinkle. Pushing up is firming it. I don't think this said anything about firming. It did say tightness. Which. I don't know. Like. Why would I want my. Why would I want my nose to be tight? Like, I can see it for other places in my body. Okay. I am going to use just a bit more. On my cheeks. And my chin. Because. <clears throat> even though they say it's for your nose. Those are really my problem areas, y'all. Like, it doesn't matter what I do for my cheeks. They just break out. They always have. Always. And I hate it. I'm looking in the mirror. Sorry. I'm looking in the mirror right here. And I feel greasy, but I don't know if I feel like this helped my blackheads because i still i mean i know y'all can't see them let me see let me try to get up close but you see right there that's a hole for my thing but right there uh -huh, on my cheeks and no matter how many times i like squeeze them and i try not to because i've gotten scars from that but no matter how many times I squeeze them, they like automatically come back. I'm using some Korean stuff. And you want to be gentle. I know it looks like I'm doing it hard, but I'm not. I, I use some Korean stuff, and we're going to see what that does. Okay. So, I might have to wash my face because this is really greasy but I will say when I wipe my hands with this cloth it doesn't feel greasy anymore so let me take this off and let's go to my bathroom and you're like sliding all around there is one spot it feels kind of 
agitated, but I don't know if it's because there's a hair there or what. So, try to move this back. And it kind of feels like you would might have to wash your face, but it doesn't say to wash your face afterwards. It says to what to rinse off with lukewarm water. And you know what's surprising is it's not, I mean, it's felt sticky when you're putting it on, but in all actuality, it's not sticky once you take it off like that came off easily there was no problem at all there was no issue i don't feel like it was hard to get off um sorry i can't honestly say how i 100 percent feel about it yet because it was my first use. What I can say is my skin actually, I mean, they're still there, but that's like my first use. It's not on them. My nose feels really, really clean. Like really, really clean. Like really, really clean. And my cheeks feel clean under here. Yeah, yeah, so I have high hopes for this. Like, I'm gonna use all this. I'm gonna do a review about it. Like, you know, um, I'm gonna do a review about it once I use all of it. But if it continues to do my face like that, I'm going to say this is a yes for me. I'm actually, because a lot of these things I don't leave out and stuff. Like, I just throw them wherever. But I'm definitely, definitely going to use that again. And I have a lot of other cool stuff if you want to see reviews about. I have some eye patches. I have this. Ever pure sulfate like hair thing that I could try um, face mask and golden mask I think I'm actually gonna I'm saving this one for Vegas so I'm gonna use this one today I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it on while I'm on camera this video might run just a you know what no I'm not gonna do this one today and I'm not going to do it on camera. What I'm going to say, if you would like to see a full routine of what I do on special occasions when I'm getting my face ready to do full makeup. And then you would want to see a make makeup tutorial. Like the video, comment below. I'll do um, a full face getting ready. And then, well, I'll do a full face, getting my skin ready for a full night of glam. And then I'll do an actual video of it. Or I'll do a skincare routine. But I'm actually going to save this one for that. And then I'll save this one for Vegas. Because these are really good. I love them. But we'll do it that way. So, thank you again for coming. Um, like I said, I have a lot of things I can do reviews on. I actually kind of like that. I feel like my pores are fucking immaculate, really. Or freaking, sorry. Are freaking immaculate. The only thing I want to do different is... And I don't want to do different. I just... It's like when you're looking for something... You just can't find it. And then when you're not looking for it, it'll just pop up and in your face. So I was going to put on 
some of that oil I told y'all about earlier. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. It try to go ghost. But I'm going to put on some of this oil. This is my favorite nighttime oil after, you know, cleaning your face and stuff like that. Since I have did my bedtime routine kind of early today, I'm going to go ahead and... I have oily skin for the most part. And I do say for the most part because sometimes it plays. So I don't use that much. And I don't know what's in here. I guess I got the box. I could see what's in here. But this oil this oil i know that's about the oh my god and i'm i'm really loving it i know y'all see me do a lot of videos and i keep saying it but this luna sunday riley it's called sleep not wait sleeping night oil next generation retinol oil reduce the appearance of pores wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and redness okay i don't know about redness because i don't have those problems but everything else girl everything else about that oil like you'll wake up in the morning it goes right into your skin it doesn't feel heavy it's good for african-american skin it's good for mixture skin it's good for combination it's good for dry it's good for oily because we always have to remember ladies when we are stripping our face when we are removing all that excess grease and dirt and everything we have to put that nutrients back in we have to put that moisture back in so after you put an oil on your face to lock it in, to make sure that it goes nowhere, to make sure that you're set and your face is just going to love it, put a little bit of light moisturizer on, you know, put just, just a tab. The drier you are, the thicker it can be, the more you could put. And even if not, that's nighttime. It's going to absorb. It's going to make sure that that skin is nice and plump in the morning so y'all have a good night thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you soon